So now let's go over the functions. The first and important function is that it separates the right and left nasal cavities by acting as the nasal septum. So as I showed you before, here is an image where we can see it exactly in the midline. So here is the right nasal cavity behind this plate. And this solid arrow here is showing the left nasal cavity. The next important function is that the crib reform plate right over here, it acts as the bed plate for the olfactory bulb. Now the olfactory bulb, what it does is, it is cranial nerve number one, the olfactory nerve. This bulb provides root for where all of the olfactory nerves enter through all of these tiny foramina and supply the nasal cavity. They supply the medial wall, the nasal mucosae, and as we'll see later on, they also supply the nasal conche. As we saw in the previous slide, let me just show you here. It forms all of these tiny little grooves. These grooves are made by the olfactory nerves right here, as shown. This provides us our sense of smell. So the ethmoidal bone also provides us a way to moisturize and warm the air during inhalation. These are, as I already described, nasal conche. So the first two here, this is the superior nasal concha, and this is the middle nasal concha. This is the separate bone, the inferior nasal concha. The nasal mucosa also contains tiny little hairs that help filter all the different particles in the air. Now, when we inspire, these, ter uh, these nasal conche, they contain something. They contain these tiny little spaces, pockets of uh, air, and they contain these tiny little spaces behind them called meatuses. So this is the superior nasal meatus. Right here is the inferior nasal meatus. Right underneath here is the inferior nasal meatus. So when we inhale, what happens is the air passes through under the nasal meatuses, over the nasal meatuses, it passes through the entire nasal cavity. The nasal conche, they increase the surface area to help moisturize and provide warmth to the air. Now, when we expire, what happens is some of the air comes out directly. But as it crosses these turbinates, some of the air forms reverse circular resistance currents that prevents the airways from becoming dry from the forced expiration. Another important function of the ethmoid bone is that it participates with all of the other air sinuses in the skull bones to help create resonance in our voice and keep our head light for us to carry. So this here, this blue group over here is the ethmoidal air cells. This group over here, this group, is the frontal 
air cells. This group here is the sphenoidal air cells. And this group over here is the maxillary air cells. Now the ethmoidal air cells, as we will learn later, are divided into three groups. The anterior air cells, the middle air cells, and the posterior air cells. That's it for the function.